This holiday shopping season, many of us have already hopped online to buy gifts, and we're betting a lot of you used Amazon. Yes, but once you click the buy button, our Help Me Hank team wanted to know what goes into the work of getting that package from there all the way to you. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester live in Romulus tonight at the Amazon Fulfillment Center. And Hank, you're getting an exclusive look at how this all works. Yeah, Karen and Jason cameras inside for the first time and this is so fascinating because like many of you when you make that purchase online, you probably wonder how does that gift end up on my porch? Well, it all begins right here in Romulus. This facility one of four across the state 855,000 square feet. Let me put that into perspective. The event space at Kobo just over 700,000 square feet and inside right now there is a ton of activity. You know how the first part works. You find an item on Amazon, you add it to your cart, and you click the buy button. From there on out, do you know how your packages actually get to your front door? Welcome to the Amazon Romulus Fulfillment Center. Come take a sneak peek of the magic that happens after you click buy on Amazon.com. It all starts right here in this 855,000 square foot building that's so big, it could fit 14 football fields inside. We're constantly using advanced technology, machine learning, and sophisticated algorithms to keep everything running smoothly. These tall pods are stocked with every single Prime item you can imagine. Yeah, that's right. Every item on Amazon Prime is housed right in this building. And these conveyor belts bring the products in to be stored. We have over 10 miles of conveyors. From the moment you click that yellow button, these little robots go to work. Codes on the floor basically set up the tracks, telling the robots where to go and which associate to bring the pod to. It's really fascinating to see these robotics firsthand as they actually navigate through the facility. Once a customer clicks by, they receive instructions to bring a pod to the associate, and the associate will pick that item, place it in the yellow tote, and then we'll fulfill uh, that customer's order. An associate gets your order and starts filling it, whether you have one item or 10. Here's what we noticed. In a world where people worry about robots taking over, this whole process is like a synchronized symphony of robots and real humans doing the work together. There's checks and balances with each, making sure items are sorted timely, but most importantly, correctly. As the pod comes up to the associate, the computer shines a light on the bin where the item is located. So she already knows where to find your package, double checking that item and sending it down to be packaged up. I'm scanning items to be shipped out to customers. As she scans, the computer tells her which box or envelope to use. Scan it, label comes out, put it on, put it on the conveyor belt. This is our SLAM line. It stands for Scan, Label, Apply, Manifest. Uh, as the packages travel down here, we'll virtually, physically weigh them. We'll get a dimension. All that information is sent here to our black boxes, which redetermine the most optimal way for shipment. And then once we go through for accuracy, we'll then place it into a trailer, and then on the way it goes to customer's front door. This is the last moment your package is audited. It's weighed within seconds to make sure exactly what's inside should be there. And the final labels are slapped on and sent to the final step, getting them onto the trucks. As soon as we scan it, the system knows the pinpoint locations of where that item is or where that item needs to go. And then uh, as you can see, we'll kick them down spiral fluid belts. They'll be placed into a big trailer with Amazon branding and that will fulfill those last miles. So with humans and robots working together in this facility this holiday season, you can expect they're doing whatever they can to make sure your presents get to you and under your tree. It's very busy during this time. We're getting gifts out to customers for Christmas, right? I am Santa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I love her, a lot of good energy inside. People and robots working together. Now this facility, it opened last summer here in Romulus and we are told the very first product and item ordered and shipped out, fish hooks. Pretty appropriate here in the Great Lakes State. We're live here tonight in Romulus. Hank Winchester, help me Hank. Yeah, I like that Hank, the people and robots working together in harmony. Uh, by the way, those pods on top of the robots, that was pretty cool as yeah, well. But super. what happens if there's an item that's not inside that specific fulfillment center? And Jason, Karen, isn't it amazing to think that almost every prime item is right here behind me? If they don't have it, they work with another facility to get it here right away. The idea is really to cut down the wait time for the customer. And obviously right now, uh, the goal is for everybody to get their packages before the holiday. Yeah. Back and, to you. And if Karen's impatient, she shouldn't just drive over there <laughs> and no. get her stuff, right? The I'm patient. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> cool Thanks, look man. inside. We appreciate it. Thank you, Hank.